Hey, what's up? It's That Metal Guy, 1983, coming to you guys with an Ecliptic Brewing review. This is going to be the first review in their Ort Imperial Stout series. I've got, well, their take on the original for 2022 right here, guys. This is the can. I'm excited to bring it to you. We're going to get into all the details of this beer and talk about it. Thank you guys for sending this out. Thank you to everyone over at Ecliptic for sending out these beers. This is going to be part one in a three-part series. We've got their next one, which is barrel-aged, and then like a barrel-aged with some additives and adjuncts in it. So we're going to get into that. Hope you guys are having a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new here. And if you've been here a while, share this video out. Let's get in to this ecliptic awesomeness and get into the pour. Oh, yeah. guys you would have just seen the pour beautiful beautiful lacing on the top great color on this beer very dark and tan head this imperial stout is coming in at nine percent alcohol per volume uh it says ord is named after a mysterious region in our solar system Be breeds comments massive amounts of roasted barley were combined with these three types of caramel malts for a rich full mouthfeel chinook cascade and sterling hops were led to the balanced bitterness and subtle hop flavor into this brew as black as the vacuum of space. Do 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 do. <laughs> right? I love the uh, I love the space thing in this company, and love the holographic label. All right, guys, let's get into the nose of this beer. You're definitely getting some of that bitterness, some of the caramel out there. Almost like a bittersweet chocolate. Maybe a little toffee off of the nose here. But let's get into this stout. Let's get into the taste of this beer. That's smooth. Wow. Smooth, silky mouthfeel. That's just nice. Super. It's not overly syrupy. It's got just enough of that syrupy. It does have a little bit of that bitterness on the on the back end. So it's not like just like liquid dessert. So you're getting that pullback from that bitterness. Yeah, bittersweet chocolate with all the amount of caramel malts in there. It's just kind of small prevalent. It's getting that sweetness. It's not like you're tasting actual caramel. And then you are getting those hops in the back end. If you're looking for a great Imperial Stout, uh, this is a great representation of that. I'm getting into this, guys. Let's get into the pour a little bit closer here so you guys can see that up front and personal. As it pours into the glass, it looks like coffee once it's in there, jet black. Uh, so, love the color of the head there. It is a nice experience. Yeah, so um, they offer that hop. Uh, and again, the hops that were in this were Cascade, Sterling, and Chinook. If you guys didn't know, the Pacific Northwest, Washington especially, is the world's largest producer of hops. So... With them being right in Oregon, we're getting that freshy, fresh, fresh. So thanks for tuning in. I appreciate every single one of you. Please don't forget your Oya Army pillars. They're super important. Spread peace, love, and understanding. Embrace equality and acceptance. 
Keep on rocking. Get ecliptic with it. And new, yeah, baby.